It is another beautiful night for Philippine basketball, folks, as we give you your continuing coverage of the MPBL's fifth season. Ito po ang Maharlika Filipino League, ang Liga ng Bawat Filipino, coming to you live from the Inares Sports Arena in Pasig City for the fifth time in the fifth season of the MPBL. Uh, both teams mix. More especially with the things up. Two-man game. Sino China? Chase him, Roca Curva, sidestep, nice move. Uh -huh. Gone by in the first frame for Druaya. Tumalabas, Chino Mosqueda. Chad Alonso on to JL De Los Santos. There's the roll. Chad scores. Alam mo yun, tuloy tuloy ito hanggang matapos. The very definition of streaky as a scorer and as a shooter. Balacuna, top of the key. Yes, sir. Oh, walang Javier, Marco Balagtas, at Dave Morade, pero hindi sila nababahala because of their next man up mentality at sa character na nagpagpupulsigi ang kanila mga players. Mix and coach Louis? Well, these players of Montelupa definitely have that good character. Here, extended minutes now for Chad Alonso. Tingin mo magsasabay siya ng uh, pass. The highest level pa rin. Nice. Eh. What a chase down. By J. De Los Santos, but there. Oh, and uh, you know he's not gonna stop. Especially if he commits a turnover, he's gonna come back defending. Great passing. Block on the other end, but good recovery. Oh, big than Dumami. <laughs> you have to love that. Especially with Pasig City, because they barely hosted last year. And you know, every time they play here, they they play with a, with a lot of energy. Itong Pasig City, uh, Mick. Nice execution. Good follow there by Mike Maestre. Head coach after that turnover. The third turnover of Muntinlupa in this game compared to the two of Pasig City. Robbie Manalam chased by Chino Mosqueda. Screen up top. Robbie will fire. That's good. Yeah, too easy. Every time there's a situation. Balik tayo sa Pasig City, 18 to 16, under 80 seconds in the opening frame. Robbie Manalam, seven on the shot clock, tough three, in and out, rebound Maestre, great effort inside. Okay, and here come the Cagers. Good feed. Ortuste is blocked. Abis getting the ball. Montilupa resettles here. Ah, uh, twelve in the shot clock. Amores on the drive. Tough layup. He makes it. Great for the home drone. And an SGL as well. It will see John Abyss to contribute for Muntinlupa. Alvin Baichong down low. He's the one posting up. Kick out. Tyrone Chan. Specialty. Good recognition there by Alvin Baichong to find his partner in crime. That's Tyrone Chan. <laughs> Lagi naman talaga sila halos ang magkasabay. Oh, eh, no? last year pa lang. John Abyss on the short stab. Turnover, he recovers. Lorenzo escapes. Nap What napagand a sorry miss. Napaganda na sana. <laughs> Kabila tayo. Ortuste faking the three and getting the layup. Yeah, same situation. Balog pa nga yung left shoulder niya, no? That's his shooting arm. John Amores. The pull up mid range, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, schemes uh, with a lot of patience. Both teams are doing it. Well, that's very much expected from these two teams in this matchup. Ryan Costello from downtown. But it's not necessarily bad defense, right? Oh, talagang pasensya lang. Ang, ang mabigat dito, ang pinag-uusapan dito, kung sino bumigay sa disiplina, ay ng medyo. Madidihado. Gone for a while now. And uh, if it's a pulled muscle, tapos may, medyo, it takes time to heal it. And again, Tyrone Chan is a vital piece of the rotation for Pasig City. Turnover force, layup for Ryan Costello. Uh, he needs to get used to. Iba na yung banggaan kasi. Uh, how many times na medyo nadudulas na siya? Luigi Cuyos now with the basketball. The transfer from Negros or Tuste up top. JP Sarao mid range. Yes. Ryan Costello is our MPBL player 
Baichong posting up. Nice matchup against JP Sarao. One-hander for Alvin Baichong. In the guard position, pero the way it started, alam mo, yun yung mga... Yung mga That was actually very uncharacteristic in this matchup so far because our two teams have been well disciplined. And speaking of discipline, there's four sideline. Like my Estre, getting 41. Oh, and not just the player. Itong uh, laban na ito, nagiging laban na rin ng uh, experience. That's his first two-pointer. Oo, uh, pero si Robby, kahit naman kaninong coach yan, magdi-deliver talaga yan. Cause scoring. Oo. Uh -huh. And off execution, off extra passes, off pick and roll. Ayun yung nakikita natin. Ruaya, good effort. Nice fake. Sorry, miss though inside. Counter steal, Mosqueda. Floater of a layup. In the third frame. Mike Maestre working with Robbie Manalang. Those basically have been the stars for passing in this game. Ballesteros inside. Oh, you know. Bakit lumalabas ngayon yung fake handoff? Then, uh, biglang atake niya Jason Balesteros. It's because how itong uh, hinahandle nitong uh, Muntinlupa, yung mga ball screen and handoffs. Nakatail sila eh. The other end, chance for Muntinlupa, John Abis. That short rebound maestre. JL De Los Santos, John Abis. He Good spins, one-hander. Good move by Abis. Been playing well also in the absence of uh, Marco Balagtas, no? That's why he started the second half for Muntinlupa as Roca. Able to maintain 50 plus in terms of field goal. So quality shots after quality shots yung nakikita na, na pa rin natin. Actually, umangat pa nga yung sa Pasig City. No. 59-55. JL pass inside. Nice bullet. Two pointer. JL De Los Santos is being joined by Chino Mosqueda, who scores. And they also have. And, and you know, ang maganda pa dito sa game na to. Both are playing defense. Both came in well prepared. Pero maganda yung, maganda yung offensive uh, field goal percentage ng pareho. Eh. Both teams are shooting above 45% from the field. But right now, Muntilupa has the edge. They're at 55%. Josa Nimes, three-pointer. Big one for Pasig City. Welcome back, Josa Nimes. Again, the tip-top shape. But in decision-making, ni, uh, Nimes, hindi mo, ayun ang di mo matatawaran. You can never take away his smarts on the court as an ex-BBA player. Pass inside. Wow, what a move, what a sorry miss. Chad Alonso was there for the follow. Yeah, what about Chad Alonso? In offensive output in... Uh, in this uh, season, only already 12 points in this matchup for Chad Alonso. Turnover completed. John Amores on the run. They go to JL. Kick out. Mosqueda. Corner three. Short. Rebound Abyss. And Mutinlupa will slow Abyss down low. Double team. Steal. And a foul. Yeah, good defense there by Roca Curva. Costello, off of the switch, Lander Cannon, to Robbie Manat. Yes, sir! Closers ni uh, Coach Boyd Fernandez. Costello, pull up, way off. Well rebounded by John Amores. So Muntinlupa now, protecting a two-point lead. JL De Los Santos, on the drive, they go to Abyss. Short stab is good. If you do that, if you pick up Robbie Manalang early, it gives him more space alam mo, to attack. On the other uh, end, John Amores answers back for Muntinlupa. Yeah, Sean, itong uh, Muntinlupa are already in penalty. Itong uh, passing still has one more, one more foul to give. De Los Santos with some pressure defense on Costello. Tough pass. Robbie Manalang. Short rebound by Listeros. Jason scores inside. Oh, uh, wala ka na magagawa sa ganong sitwasyon. Alam mo, lamang yung matangkat na. <laughs> 12 points and 10 rebounds. A double-double for Jason Ballesteros. Under 90 seconds to go. Mutilupa by two. 
Yeah, this uh, uh ito ito na labanan ng mga bata. Uh, especially itong uh, with uh, passing. That's a foul. It will mean free throws for 14 of his 20 points. Alam mo yun, iba yung nakascore ka ng ganyang karami. Pero yung nakascore ka ng ganyang karami sa ganitong klasing laban makes it different. Alam mo, kasi alam mo mahirap eh. I'm sure this is a big confidence booster for John Abbas. Pasig's now in trouble. They're starting to miss their free throws. 18 out of 22 make that 19 out of 23 now. Uh -huh. Split. 8-3-3, three, three, the numbers for Ryan Costello. One possession ball game. A minute and 10. There's a foul. That's the last foul to give for Pasig City. Uh -huh. With one minute, eight seconds left. Three fouls now on Ryan Costello. We have two timeouts left for both of our coaches. Sideline inbound for Chino Mosqueda. Ito ngayon si JL De Los Santos, hounded by Ryan Costello. 13 on the shot clock. Maybe a clear out for JL already. De Los Santos still has it up top. Steal! Ryan Costello on the run. Ryan Costello is fouled. Nice defensive sequence for the point guard. Oh, uh, and uh, for JL, okay, those are the things that he needs to improve. Alam mo yun, he wanted to take charge, but you know that you have to communicate. That's the fourth foul on JL De Los Santos, who just had to stop Ryan Costello on that fast break. And not against Ryan Costello. So it will be back to free throws now for Basic City. They made their first 16 from the line. Ever it's not going to be an easy day for him. Because he'll be facing guards that's bigger and athletic. Tapos it's a challenge pa yung defense niya. Hindi lang siya didepensahan. It's a challenge also yung defense niya. That's what JL De Los Santos tried to do to no avail. Costello just made his first free throw. The lead is down to two with 53 seconds to go. Second try for Ryan Costello. That's good. And Muntin Lupa will call for time. And Jason Ballesteros. It is a full court inbound for Muntin Lupa. You know how close this game is. Alam mo yun, uh, both teams' biggest lead was six apiece, right? And uh, lead changes, streaks, but shooting percentage wala kang masasabi almost a steal bodies on the floor great effort recovery for Muntin Lupa and John Amores is fouled oh, oh. lucky break there uh, for uh, Muntin Lupa and you know bakit lucky Kasi free throw for John Amores that's Makes good beyond the arc alam mo yun Okay na yun eh. Uh, so let's see. Sideline inbound for Kenny Roca Curva. Pinapalabas, Robbie Manalang. Tough angle. Oh, oh. Back to Kenny. On the drive. Tough layup. Couldn't go for the tie. Ball recovered by Ballesteros. And he is fouled. 13 and 10. And he's perfect from the line. He continues to be perfect. JL De Los Santos will work with Chino Mosqueda. John Abis, John Amores, and Ford Ruaya. So first things first is to advance that ball into half court. Ito na, JL De Los Santos. 12 seconds remaining. He's being defended by Ryan Costello. Down to 6 seconds. JL will attack. De Los Santos. The pass to Abis for the win. Short. Ooh. And we are going to overtime. Yeah. It was a good play. They have been very, very used to close games here in our fifth season. 80 all after regulation. Roca Curva versus uh, Mosqueda. Uh, back to Jason Ballestero. So really playing, still playing well for this uh, in this game versus uh, Pasig. Kenny Roca Curva misfires. Forward pass here. Chino Mosqueda, one, two. Nice move. What a sorry miss. But for Druaya was Curva has 12 points now in this matchup. There's a foul on the drive. Under two minutes. 
Roja Curva, no good on the one-hander. Ball tap. It's recovered by Robbie Manalam. Oh, the presence pa rin ni Jason, eh, no? Ang hirap talaga, eh. Ooh, oh, that oh. charge. It was a push by Maestre. Yeah, clearly. Now, for the for Montilupa Pager, ang pinaka-konting playing time dito si Chad Alonso, pero still, it's 20 plus din minutes. And 12 points with 7 boards for Chad Alonso. JL, tough pass. 7 on the shot clock. Chino Mosqueda against yeah, Robbie floater. Manalang. One-hander. Yeah, that's a foul on Ford Ruaya. 15. 90% from the stripe. First one is good. Oh, and uh, ayan, down, baka bumaba na naman into one point itong uh, kalamangan ng Muntilupa if Jason Balesteros makes this uh, his free throw. Pero you talk about lead changes. You talk about juice. Itong game na to, uh, mix. Tapatan lang ating dalawang kuponan. And now, Maestre just forced the ball outside in favor of Pasig City. Seek to tie or even get the lead with a three-pointer. Maestre inside. No basket. Rebound, John Amores. Alam mo yung close misses, point-blank shots. Ito na yung nakikita natin itong sa uh, quarter na ito. Costello defending JL De Los Santos. JL attacks. One, two. Tough move. No basket again. And here comes Pasig City. We have 40 seconds to go. So this is going to be crucial. Manalang for the lead. Too strong. Well rebounded by John Abyss. Yeah, first things first. Bring that ball to half court. 86, 84. JL needs to be careful. Eight second differential here. That's a foul. Two free throws for JL De Los Santos. Going over to overtime for Muntinlupa. Uh oh, and uh, you know, okay, what's good is uh, he was able uh, to sustain. He assists. He does have seven turnovers though. Second free throw for the young man. No good. It's only a one possession game. No. Uh -huh. 12 seconds to go. And yeah. Kenny Rocha Curva stepped out of bounds. Uh -huh. So let's see. So De Los Santos almost got the steal. And then it looks like he was the one who stepped out of bounds. No. Uh -huh. And 7 out of 16 for Pasig City. Rocha Curva. He still has the basketball. 6 seconds to go. Two Pasig players fall down. That's out of bounds in favor of Muntinlupa. So, that's gonna be it. Great stop. Okay, great defensive possession there by the Cagers. It looks like, or it looked like the two Pasig players tripped each other. Oh, uh -huh. Alam mo, hindi na locate yung after ang ang, ang hinahanap nila doon yung flare screen for uh, Roby Manalang. Ito na tapos na yung flare screen diyan eh. Hindi na ipasa ni uh, Kenny. So pabalik uli. Yun, dalawa silang bumalik. Obviously yeah. not enough space right there. Good uh -oh. defense by Chino Mosqueda. Oo, uh -oh, and uh, set. Mapupunta sila sa pang pito. So let's see this last play. Muntinlupa so goes to John Abyss and no more foul here. That will do it. An overtime win for the Muntinlupa Cagers. It's another hard-fought victory for them. Uh, okay. Congratulations uh, uh, to both teams. Uh, itong uh, team ng Pasig City, MCW Sports at itong Muntinlupa Cagers. And, uh, the game went into overtime. It was close all throughout.